Hi, that's a pretty tough looking ternary operator expression. Expressions like these generally make beginning students of C and even beginning programmers in C a little wary of the language. Actually, ternary operators allow us to write very concise expressions. You just need to learn to read them. Just like advanced idioms in the English language make the language richer, experienced programmers use such idioms well in order to improve the expressivity of their programs. So, we need to be able to learn to deconstruct and understand them. Let us do this with this expression. Let us first try to understand what we are talking about. X is assigned the result of this ternary operator. Now, we know the ternary operator has a condition, an expression which is used if the condition is true and another condition which is used if the expression is false. So, we can rewrite it as if a x is equal to b not equal to c else x is equal to b and c. Let us look at it again. We are effectively saying x takes the value of b not equal to c that is you evaluate the logical expression b not equal to c if a is true otherwise x takes the value of the expression b and c. From this we can infer a, b, c all are logical variables containing true or false values. Now, so, what is this whole expression doing? When is this expression true? As you can see if b and c are of different types that is one of them is true, one of them is false. So, we can build a truth table nicely like this. These are the a, b, c and x values. If a is true, we saw already b and c have to be different. In all these cases, x is true. Now, what happens if a is false, then both have to be true for this to be true. In all, for all other values of a, b, c, x is false. It does not matter what is a's value, what is b's value. So, now we have enumerated it. Can we now try to simplify and understand this? Do we see a pattern between the values of a, b and c to be able to infer for x? It will take a little bit of an effort, but we can count and see in each line there are two t's. So, this complicated expression is essentially saying are any two of a, b, c true? You can think of this complicated expression as counting how many of a, b, c is true and if two are true, any two are true and only two are true, return the true value. In all other cases, return a false value. Why can't somebody write it lot simpler? Well, they could have, but they have chosen to write as concisely as possible. But if you want to be an expert C programmer, you need to be able to read such complex code. We hope it was easy to read after the explanation. Practice with this more, you will in time become an elegant user of concise ternary operators. All the best. That is a beast of a logical expression, right? C is normally cryptic, but this is one of the more cryptic expressions even by C standards. Actually, both beginning programmers and beginning programming students find such expressions difficult to understand. In this video, we will break this down into pieces so that we can understand how to read such complex expressions. Let us try and break it down. Sorting algorithms are a very important subject matter of study. I am going to discuss some of the well-known sorting algorithms. 
but we are not going to be writing code but instead we are going to be using one of the oldest known pastimes 